Hey, Stargazers. Tonight on March 25th, starting after midnight, 12.53 Eastern Daylight Time, we have a front row seat to a celestial ballet, a lunar eclipse. The Earth will cast its shadow on the moon, turning it, turning it a subtle uh, shade darker. Um, so the peak is at 3.12 a.m. and it wraps up around 5.32 a.m. However, for our viewers in India, tonight won't be the night to catch this cosmic event. But um, majorly, uh, majority cities from North America and South America will be able to witness this cosmic event. So unlike a total lunar eclipse, when the entire shadow falls on a specific region, the penumbral eclipse casts a wider path. So tonight, the moon's journey through the penumbra will be visible across a vast stretch of globe, uh, like I said, but unfortunately not from India. So um, this is, you know, it, it, is, it is just, this isn't just a beautiful sight. It's a chance to witness the intricate dance between planet, moon, and sun. So during a lunar eclipse, the moon passes through Earth's shadow, which has two parts. One is penumbra and one is umbra. So um, let me show you some pictures which will help you understand what is it that I am talking about. And so when we talk about the shadow, the shadows uh, are in two parts, like I said. So what you see on your screens um, is a torch and a ball and a screen. And when the ball shadow is casted on the screen, you see two parts of the shadow, a darker and a lighter one. So which is Amra and Penumbra. And this is what is happening today. So when we uh, look at this image where, you know, the sun and earth are there and the sun's uh, shadow is falling on, you know, um, moon. So there are two parts of the shadow. One is Penumbra, the outer side, and the middle part is Amra. So that's why it's a penumbral eclipse today. Because if you look at this one, you will be able to understand what I'm saying. Uh, the moon is only passing through a certain part of the shadow. And that part is the penumbral shadow. And that's why it's called a penumbral eclipse. And it's not uh, a total lunar eclipse or a, pa or a partial lunar eclipse. So this image will be able to help you understand what's the difference. Uh, there is a penumbral lunar eclipse where you see, like I said, a subtle shade darker. But in a partial lunar eclipse, you see like almost half of the moon is dark. And in a total lunar eclipse, you see a totally different shade of dark. So this gives you an idea that how these three things are completely different. So um, I have this, um, it's just a small GIF. You can see how a very slight shade is getting darker, moon is getting darker on the top, and the rest is fine. So this was one of the penumbral lunar eclipse in Minneapolis. So um, what we have understood here is the dark inner part of the shadow where no sunlight reaches is umbra, but the fainter outer part of the shadow where some sunlight is blocked is penumbra. So tonight's eclipse is a penumbral eclipse, which means the moon only graces the penumbra. And this will cause a slight dimming of the lunar surface, like I just showed you uh, the picture from the Minneapolis into 2020, uh, which, you know, you might be able to notice, uh, like I said, the peak is at 3.12 a.m. And that's when you will be able to notice this. If uh, you are at a better site away from the city or at a darker region, so that would be, you know, a better place to uh, see this uh, event. So, um you know, uh, but there's another kind of lunar eclipse, like I said, there are like two more kinds, the total and the partial. So now it comes to the viewing of uh, the eclipse, lunar eclipse. You can look at the lunar eclipse with naked eye. You don't need any special equipment. You can see it with naked eye. You, you can use your binoculars. You can use a telescope. So unlike a solar eclipse, you know, where... Uh, sun is not safe to see directly with eyes, moon is safe to view directly with your naked eyes. And even it, even when it is at its peak, so you don't need any special filter or equipment. So all the viewers in America, uh, in North America and South America, get ready for this safe and spectacular celestial show. So 
like I said, even though uh, the penumbral eclipse is, it, it, it might not be as dramatic as a total eclipse, but it's still very awe-inspiring uh, moment in our solar system. So I think it's just uh, amazing to enjoy it. Uh, I would like to show one more picture of the path of this eclipse that the, the whole region where uh, it will be visible, like you can see it's not visible in India and it's majorly covering the North and the South America and it's starting in a, in a few hours. So uh, this will be a great place to witness this. Uh, but, uh, you know, we all know that this eclipse is just a kind of a teaser for the main event, a total solar eclipse, which is coming up in April. And uh, it's when you'll need, you'll need special solar eclipse glasses to, you know, look at it safely. Um, unfortunately, uh, the viewers, the, uh, the eclipse chasers and uh, sky uh, watchers in India are going to miss that one as well because that's not happening in India but the universe is full of wonders and there's always something to new to look forward to it in the sky so thank you so much um enjoy uh, the sky bye